Well, hello again, everyone. Welcome back. So today I want to do another video to test if my daily makeup routine will stand the test of water. So I start off with a clean face and then use toner on it. I use Wonder Pour and then I layer it with a few drops of its skin pore effector or VB effector. So just lather it on there and then put another layer of dust cut uh, cream from Etude House. So this helps eliminate pollution and dust from your face. So at least it will keep your pores clean and healthy. Then of course, I'm, since I'm going to the pool, a layer of sunscreen is very important. This is a tinted sunscreen from Etude as well, the Sunprise sunscreen. Right, it has SPF 50. And don't forget your neck. And I just want to show you that this April skin really does cover hyperpigmentation or pimple marks, as you can see here in my video. Don't forget to also apply it on your neck to have an equal shade. And for my cheeks, I use this dual purpose tint from Tony Moly. I love it because it has a very colorful tint like the one from Etude House so just a bit more there yep and for my brows I am using Etude House's uh, drawing eyebrow in gray so I like straight brows instead of those arches it makes you look kinder or it makes your face look softer instead of being all that harsh or supplata type girl yep so I'm not really great at doing my brows but I'm trying my best just use the spoolie to spread it out evenly so that you won't have harsh lines and this is an eyeliner from Japan it's a gift and it's my first time trying it out um, I'm not sure if it is waterproof so I usually pull back my lids before lining them because I really have this tiny eyes and I don't have that double lid there and just wing it off a little to make my eyes bigger and set it all with powder from 3W Clinic number 21 that's the shade that I am using there you go and don't forget your uh, lids as well oh and this is a new product that I am testing out it's the Hara Tattoo Lip Tattoo in red and uh, it's like all your other lip tattoos you'd have to apply it on your lips thickly but I didn't do that and let it dry or let it stay on your lips for maybe 10 to 15 minutes I didn't follow that instruction as well I only let it stay for five minutes because I was in a hurry so once it's dry as you can see you can peel it off so it's like peeling off your skin. One thing that I've noticed is that the color sticks more to your moisturized lips. So if you have dry lips, then I don't think this would really work. I'll show you in a bit later. There you go. So once you've peeled it off, it's completely dry and it won't smudge. Well, it did a little, but the cotton ball was wet. Right, and this the color is from my tint. So I'm dabbing a little Vaseline for my lips to keep it moist. And so that what happened. That is what happened, I mean. So I am in this resort pool right now here in Pangasinan. And here I am testing it out on the water. And so this is what happened right after I got off. And after a few hours, maybe four hours, the eyeliner started to run. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.